you have any doubt, any question, you can ask. Now, magnetic field of solenoid. What is solenoid? First, solenoid is a coil of wire in which magnetic field is created by passing a current through it. Solenoid means a coil of wire or solenoid means a coil of wire that has a number of loops. Not single loop, a number of loop or a number of loops. So solenoid is a coil of wire in which magnetic field is created by passing a current through it. If a current is passing through the solenoid and it creates magnetic field. So solenoid is a coil of wire or the number of loops. The current in each side of the coil contributes the overall magnetic field. So solenoid is a coil of wire or a number of loops. The field is strong in the center of the coil. The field strong in the center of the coil but weaker outside the coil. So the center of the coil is a strong electric field I mean magnetic field and weak outside the coil so solenoid means a coil of wire or number of loops simply now the strength of magnetic field of solenoid or determines the magnitude of magnetic field of a solenoid strength of the magnetic field in a solenoid B or symbolically B depends on three factors. The first one, the number of turns of wire per meter of length. That means capital N divided by L. Number of lengths per or number of turns per length. The permeability of free space or mu permeability of free space mu and the current flowing through the wire because solenoid contains a number of loops or a coil of wire so it depends on the number of turns of wire per meter means number of turns per length or small n the permeability of free space or mu and the current flowing through the wire i now let us see your exercise book on page 129 figure 4.19 so the formula of solenoid or magnetic field of solenoid field strength or magnetic field strength of a solenoid is equivalent to the permeability of free space multiplied by number of turns per length multiplied by current because solenoid is depend on permeability of free space number of turns and current so multiply the number of turns per length times permeability of free space times current to determine the magnitude of magnetic field strength so magnetic field strength is of solenoid is equal to number of turns per length small n times length current i times permeability of free space mu now the next one magnetic force what is a magnetic force Magnetic force is a force exerted on one magnet on the other magnet. If we can take two magnets, north poles and south poles. Now the north pole is attracted by the south pole or the south pole is attracted by the north pole. So the force 
between this force what you call magnetic force now magnetic force in general magnetic field strength is multiplied by current multiplied by length of wire or in symbol magnetic force f equals magnetic field strength is b multiplied by electric current or current i times length of wire l so magnetic force is depend on the magnetic field strength electric current and length of wire now magnetic field field is and the centripetal force now from chapter one we discussed the centripetal force so centripetal force is depend on the mass of the object and the square of velocity and radius of the circle so centripetal force is the product of mass and square of velocity over or divided by radius so centripetal force is equals to m times v of v square over r where m mass of the object v velocity of the object and r radius of the circle and the other magnetic field force of magnetic field now force of magnetic field magnetic field strength is multiplied by current multiplied by length but electric current is equivalent to the ratio of charge and time so we can substitute charge over time in place of i or current so magnetic force is equivalent to magnetic field strength times length times charge over time but length over time or displacement over time is velocity so magnetic force is equivalent to <coughs> magnetic field strength is multiplied by charge multiplied by velocity and centripetal force is equal to mass times velocity square over radius now cancel velocity by velocity square now magnetic field strength is times charge times velocity equals magnet mass times velocity square over radius now velocity by velocity cancel out so magnetic field strength is, is equivalent to magnetic mass times velocity over charge times radius so magnetic field strength is equivalent to mass of the object times velocity of the object over or divided by charge times radius now the last one magnetic flux magnetic flux is a measure of the strength of a magnetic field over a given area if we have a magnetic field and a given area then determine magnetic flux by a measure of the strength of magnetic field and a given area or magnetic field is the product of the area and the magnetic field perpendicular to the surface so magnetic field and surface area are perpendicular so if magnetic field and surface area are perpendicular then the angle between this perpendiculars are 90 degrees so nine sine 90 degree one then magnetic flux or phi is equals to magnetic field strength is multiplied by area times one we can get magnetic flux or phi is equal to magnetic field strength is multiplied by electric i mean surface area so magnetic field strength and surface area are perpendicular to each other so the si unit is waiver one waiver is equivalent to one tesla times meter square so the magnetic flux unit is waiver now the last topic galvanometers or in other words moving coil of moving coil meter now galvanometer is an instrument or a practical instrument whose 
operation depend on the torque developed on a current carrying coil is the galvanometer so galvanometer is most application for sensitive measurement of electric current so galvanometer or in other name moving coil of meter or moving coil meter so use the to measure sensitive electric current no finished our lesson